Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex. And this is a gift from the magnificent bastard Red, Jason Chow. So to the crickets. Yes. Because he's a rep. Yep. But this is from his, his own money. His own money. Jason Chow, you may gift it. Master. <laughs> Remember, he worked with San Francisco Wine Trader. Right. This was their selection of a larceny pick. Right. Now, we reviewed larceny. You remember this? Just I'm just going to ping the nostalgia button okay. for you here. Yes. Remember back in the day when we decided to like shoot the whole episode and then at the very end come up with the cold open based on what had happened in the episode? Yeah, that's actually a really smart thing to do mm-hmm. that we eventually got, just like, uh, we got fat and lazy. Because no, but, it's, it's actually legitimate, yeah. really good well, thing. Well, it's used constantly on the tribe channel, vol- a tribe channel where you can can edit clips. Oh yeah, like the as long as Alex has been here, yeah, that's yeah. been the intro. Yeah, yeah here's some things from the, the episode. Black and white thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, it's that long ago we reviewed Larceny. Okay, wow. That's and it was the same proof. It's and been it, a hot minute. But this is a selection. I'm guessing a blend of barrels that they selected. Because um, there's no proof difference on this. We haven't done this. No, we've done larceny. Yes, right, but we have. But not this from San Francisco. So how, how much Jason Chow have we go, been going through lately? Oh, this is the last one. Okay, this is the sixth one. Okay, because I'm like, man, we've been doing Jason. There's a lot of going to Jason. Well, we got through all of his. Okay. Wow. All right. right. Well, make sure we're not doubling down on something we already did from Jason. No. Thank you, Jason. So. Ooh, Before man. what we had mentioned was pipe tobacco. Oh, that big old uh, citrus sweetness. Okay. A slight spicy note. A yeah. deep darker cherry. Big but old. But I had quick deep dark cherry to a darker aromatic pipe tobacco, like the flavored pipe tobaccos. Oh, there's almost like a, a cherry meets dark chocolate. On mm-hmm. This. Now what I want to do is compare oh, it to beautiful. the other larceny. This has to be a meaningful proof, man, for that nose to be so present. Are you? Is this only 92? It's only 92. Wow. Can you believe it? Wow. Try to believe it. That is, I can't, I can't even. Don't even I believe it. I can't even. Don't ever believe it. That, I, have, I would say that has to be over like 100 proof, just mm-hmm. on the nose. Not because it's like burny, but because the flavors, the, the notes are so present on the nose there. And then there's like a vanilla oaky. Oh, it's so pretty. And then that the okay, aromatic. Carry on your notes. Go. Yeah, this is a very. I'm gonna get the other larceny. I think on the, on the nose so far, this is doing a beautiful job of being uh, very complex, but also classic. If you like the, you know, just the traditional bourbon flavors, they're right here, but there's a lot of them and they're playing together really, really nicely. They're complementing each other well with like this dark chocolate and the cherry, this vanilla note, that oakiness, they're all playing nicely with each other. All right, this is just a generic larceny, not selected. Okay, you know what, man? They selected an exceptional, yeah. Really? Yeah, compared compared to the standard larceny, it's another, it's a cut above, I'm telling you. Standard larceny is all well and good. Oh, that's light and- All well and good. Way more citrus. What's the standard larceny? Same. Same proof. Man. Oh Man. yeah, you're right. They picked a hell of a barrel. The San Francisco wine trader one's darker, yes. richer. Yes, hell of a hell of a pick. Wow. Man, and I'm getting more on the standard larceny. I'm getting more of like a eucalyptus. And I'm getting more of an orange citrus in the palate. Of the? Of a, a dark chocolate citrus. Of the standard? Of the, the standard. Okay. Chocolate citrus. Orange and milk chocolate. Mm-hmm. On this one, it's way darker on the Sam SF Trader pick. Darker and more velvety. Mm-hmm. Oh, and a little bit more of a peppery spice on the back. Oh. That is nice. That's very nice. Well done. The, yeah. As far as bourbons go, this is a weeded bourbon, so then, it's got all of the more weeded notes, And this right? takes you on a little, the pick mm-hmm. takes you on a little bit of a journey, right? But the finish unfolds into this nice, sweet, what is that? Some type of fruitiness. Almost, it, the cherry almost turns into like, I don't know, maybe a, a strawberry, something, something. Mm. It's nice. It's nice, man. All right, we got Kyle near Woodland. Near, Kyle near, near. We're gonna get this, Kyle. Newland. Newland, Newland, Newland. Kyle, Kyle in. Kyle Newland. Kyle, I would love Daniel Rex to answer this question. 
Cool. No. The nose on this though, man. I like the <laughs> nose. Uh, you are elected to visit a newly discovered planet with intelligent life similar to Earth. The space team lets you bring one bottle of alcohol aboard the ship. Which bottle of whiskey do you bring with you to explain to this new planet this is what whiskey is? So basically, this yeah, is so the be-all, end-all, quintessential example of all whiskey? Yeah, so that's the real question. Not, not, forget about which bottle right. first. What category? Would you bring a bourbon? Um, I mean, the origins of whiskey are all about barley, so right? Is, yeah. So Here's the situation, though. The spectrum of whiskey flavors yeah. are so varied, I don't think there's any one category that can even say it's pulling enough from what's happening in Ireland, what's happening in Scotland, what's I happening agree. in American whiskey. This what's is happening. not like gin or vodka or yeah. even tequila. So it comes down to... If you are the ambassador for planet Earth and you really want to heavily, drastically influence this new planet and yeah. your own preferences. So selfish, selfish needs. What do you want to introduce as your preferred whiskey? Well, you tell them this is on planet Earth considered the best whiskey. Yeah, the only whiskey. And really. if you don't want to go to war with our planet, you too will love this whiskey. Yeah, it's definitely going to be scotch. Uh, what specific scotch? Uh, you know what? I would probably pick a Highland malt. Okay. And son of a bitch, if I get to influence everything, and I'm not just like trying to be fair to what sells, but right. I want to bring them something I love, yeah. I would probably show up with Oban 14. Oban 14? Yeah, because okay. it's interesting and citrusy, but still peppery. And so I just want something to drink on the spaceship, and I'll save them enough for a pour. Oh, okay. Okay. And it's going to change probably by this time tomorrow. Oh. But in the right, in the right now, right now, mm -hmm. I have a hankering for some Port Charlotte heavily peated. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Port Charlotte heavily Fair peated. Fair enough. Yeah, and then tomorrow will be something different. For the <laughs> moment. And I'll be on the spaceship and I'm like, damn it, why did I get this? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even want it. <laughs> I'll yum. So I haven't seen many mooches coming from the master mooch as of late. Should a consideration be put forward to remove the title of the necklace? I lost my necklace whenever there, I, I grew into a giant... Uh, Here's the thing I lost. Was it, what was it? The, the Ultra Mooch? Mega Mooch? It's mega Mooch. I can't remember what it was. It was... Um, yeah. And then it exploded. Yeah. And so I've, I've lost my necklace into the world. And so I have to fight my way back. <laughs> so... I may or may not have been finding remnants and pieces of your mooch necklace around campus right. and slowly collecting them. I, uh, I, I, there's a journey. There's a very slowly progressing journey. You know, very if I, slowly If progressing. I could just get rid of like 90% of my responsibilities and just do the ridiculous stuff that's fun. Uh -huh. can, can we do that? No. But I want to. Also, his mooch powers were uh, cut back even further when, like Samson, the top of his head was shaved. Right. This is Turns out it was the source of a lot of mooch I'll strength. I'll tell you, uh, like, the excuse of the shelter home thing, that's gone, because all the states have lifted it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, At some level. Yeah. My wife hasn't mentioned it yet, because I'm still kind of just rocking it. <laughs> she hasn't mentioned it yet, and I'm weighing the pros and cons of kind of forcing her hand to bring it up again. <laughs> Or <laughs> just not mentioning it and see how long. See, like the ultimate ultimate is if I could get this top hair to yeah. grow out as long as this hair. <laughs> so it'd be like two stages of that's really long hair. And then I got it down to my <laughs> yeah. ass back here. Yeah. <laughs> so it starts, it's going to start as like a feathered, poofy yeah. top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe I perm this. <gasps> oh, Lord. Oh. oh, Lord. Bro, no, this is perm. Dude, are, come on, are you kidding me? No. Oh. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. <laughs> if you fight me, I fight for a friend. Stealing, you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may you drink with us. <laughs>